Hey everyone, this is going to be a bare bones guide on the strategies I use to get high quotas in squads. A solo guide will come a bit later. I won't go too much into the looting aspect as I already have a looting guide, so make sure to check that out too. Last thing to keep in mind is that I only do vanilla high quota runs because any other run using game changing mods don't really count. To start off high quota, we order two shovels and land at the company as it does not use a day and you can get the shovels. Then for quota one, you are going to go to Adamance, Vow, or Assurance. Adamance is your best choice for high loot, but due to its higher entity count, it can be a bit difficult. Vow is your next best option as the bees and item pool make for more valuable days than Assurance on average. Lastly, if both Adamance and Vow have bad weather, or you just hate Vow, you should go for Assurance. If you are super unlucky and all three have bad weather, choose whichever one in your opinion is the easiest weather out of the three for your group to go to. Split your group up into two players going main entrance and two players going fire exit. This is optimal for clearing the interior and getting all scrap. Once you have completed Quota 1, you now decide to go straight to Artifice or go to Rend. I will go over how to sell at the company properly later in the video. Going straight to Artifice is the riskier approach, but slightly better for hitting a higher quota. However, you only really need to do this if you're going for world record. Artifice will give you more loot early on, but you are stuck without any shotguns until you get lucky with nutcrackers, making gameplay slightly harder. The other option is going Rend for Quota 2, and stocking up on shotguns. This way, you are more prepared for Artifice and are not just stuck to the two shovels. In addition to selling enough for Rend or Artifice, you also want to buy at least one jetpack, two if they are on sale. And if you lost any shovels or just want an extra couple shovels, it doesn't hurt too much to buy them now. When going Rend or Art, the jetpack person should go main entrance, and loot until around 2pm, then start to transfer smalls. This is usually a time when fire and main entrance have met up inside anyways. While fire exit clears the rest of the progress they have, the other main entrance player should start taking back two-handed objects. It is okay if you're not full clearing, looting quickly comes with time. However, it is very important to take back expensive two-handed objects before the outside has too many entities. After completing Quota 2, you should already be at Artifice or have enough shotguns to be comfortable with going to Artifice. You will be running Artifice for the rest of your High Quota run, so I hope you enjoy the moon! Just like all the other moons, when landing, two people go fire, two people go main, and one of the main players has jetpack. If you are fortunate enough to have two jetpacks, then one player at each entrance gets a jetpack. Loot quickly until around 1 or 2 p.m., and then main people should start transferring two-handed objects. Once the expensive two-handed objects are transferred, the jetpack player should start grabbing the smaller items, and the other main player should check fire to help them with any two-handed objects they have. If you can't get all the two-handed back, it is okay. Just transfer the most expensive first, and then later have everyone but one person risk their life at the end for the extra loot. The jetpack player should put all the small items on top of the warehouses until around 5 o'clock. Then, they should really only be taking the items to ship. By putting the items on top of the warehouse, you make it less risky by not having to go inside the facility or on the ground where dogs, giants, or door camping slimes might kill you when entering the facility. If you have two jetpacks, it is never a bad idea to put all the objects on the warehouses even after 5 o'clock hits as with two jetpacks, you can get all the small items back much faster. Both jetpack players are usually transferring around 4 or 5 p.m. Here are some strategies regarding entities. During the day, you should trap giants that lock onto you and trap old birds if there is more than one. It's good to keep one old bird to kill everything else that spawns. Here's an example of trapping those entities. So trapping the giant isn't too bad. When he's aggroed onto you, you wait till he's about that distance away. You know, just enough to get him inside. You can kind of predict his speed since he has the same speed. And then you can either run to this door or you can run up those stairs and out that door. But as for a giant, it's pretty, pretty 
simple. Now trapping an old bird's a bit more tricky because you need a beta grab. To beta grab, you get just close enough to the old bird, like right in front of it. Hide around the corner a bit until he walks inside the warehouse. And then you bait the grab. Yeah. Then you get out. Biggest thing is not to get stuck in a corner where he's firing at you. Otherwise, you'll die. This is going to be just a slightly better example of baiting a grab, because in that last clip, I didn't really bait the grab, I just kind of made him walk towards me and lean down. Here, you can fully see that he will bend over and go for it. So that's always good, you get up like right behind their back leg, and they go for it. Whenever you encounter a jester or coil head, you can bait it to main and decide to trap it for mansion tiles. A video on how to trap coils and jesters will be in the description. Once you hit quota 8, you should have extra money to start buying shovels, TZPs, and lockpicks. A few more quotas and you can buy extra jetpacks or whatever else you want. TZPs are a huge help with bringing back two-handed objects and should be used for about 8 seconds for maximum efficiency. A small addition. Between quotas 1 and 8, you want to be collecting as many keys as possible to avoid overselling for a lockpicker. Artifice normally has a lot of keys with not too many lock doors, so you can last a while without needing a lockpicker. From here on out, you only need to sell exactly to quota until you run out of money and a stockpile in your ship. Your stockpile is the money you have been saving every quota. This is where I explain how to sell properly for a high quota. When you are overselling a company for rend, artifice, or items, you should use the quota calculator I have on the spreadsheet in the description. Just make a copy of the spreadsheet and you will have edit access. To use the calculator, you will input how much money you need, how much money you have in terminal, and what the current quota is. This will spit out a number of how much you need to sell. Anything you don't sell makes up your stockpile that you will just be saving the entire time throughout the high quota run, and that also means you can't wipe. This calculator will give you the exact amount you need, so anytime a player dies on the moon, you don't have to worry about recovering their body as you can't lose any money because you won't have any money. For example, if I want to go to Artifice and afford jetpack at 230 quota, I need to put the numbers in, and the calculator will use overtime bonus to calculate exactly how much I need, so I will have zero dollars left when I go to art and buy the jetpack. That's about all for the strategies for high quota. If you would like a visual example, the last thing I will add to the description is the full VOD of the 19k quota run, the current world record. You can skip around and see how we play the days. My last piece of advice is to get a group you can play with consistently to build chemistry. A Discord and official website is almost done for those interested in being in a high quota leaderboard, so make sure to join my Discord to know when it's released and to find groups in the meantime. Also, once the website and Discord are up, I will put links in a pinned comment. I hope this helps you reach a new high quota personal best, and I will see you in the next video.